Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson and for John James today and ah, things are actually looking up as we head into the weekend, at least in the temperature department. We're finally getting back above freezing for the first time since last Sunday. However, it's going to be kind of gloomy out there as we go through our Friday and as we go into Friday night, there is another storm system that's going to be making its way on through. Doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but you just sort of see the initial stages taking shape Friday morning down towards Arkansas, Oklahoma and Texas. This is going to continue to pick up moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and then start to stream its way up towards the north and east in our direction. And by the time we get into Friday night, we are expecting some pretty steady bands of rain to make its way on through. So it's going to be kind of wet as we head into the weekend. We're sort of in between systems right now. We had one that moved through Thursday night, did bring around an inch of snow to many locations, but don't worry about shoveling it because it's going to start to melt, including the rest of the snowpack on the ground as we head through the overnight and into the day on Saturday as again temperatures are on the rise getting back above freezing. Thank goodness. Here's a look at your forecast so you know what to expect. Start this here at 7 in the morning on Friday as we go through the day. Most of the daylight will be dry. It's not going to show up here on this model. There may be a little bit in the way of some drizzle or mist, maybe just enough to flick the windshield wipers on every now and then, but don't expect any widespread or persistent rainfall throughout the day, though it will be kind of cloudy and gloomy. We'll kind of start off on the dry side for your Friday evening, at least early on. But once we get to around 9, 10 o'clock, that's when the bands of rain will start to make their way in through. And it's going to be kind of a soaker as we go through the overnight hours. And it will be plenty warm enough for all the precipitation to fall as rain. So you don't have to be worrying about snow or ice. But with that rainfall and the higher temperatures, we're going to start to really rapidly melt away at that snowpack on the ground. So do watch out for some areas of uh, high water on the roadways. We'll probably start to see some ponding. The steady rains come to an end by Saturday morning, but still some scattered showers across the area. Our high temperature is going to occur during the morning on Saturday because as we go towards the afternoon, a front will be swinging its way in through. Not an Arctic front, but it will knock temperatures back into the 30s from the 40s, which is where we are going to be at for Saturday morning. But we are looking dry for the second half of your Saturday. We're going to keep things dry into your day Sunday as well, though the winds will be kicking up on the backside of that front. For the rest of your Friday, just expect again a little bit in the way of some drizzle every now and then. Otherwise, it'll be cloudy and warmer with most of us topping out in the upper 30s. A few places even making a run for 40 degrees Friday afternoon. If we don't get there during the day, we're definitely going to get there as we head through the overnight. We'll start off in the 30s, but temperatures actually rising into the low 40s by the time we get to sunrise on Saturday. But again, even though it's warming up, we do have those periods of rain moving their way on in. Looks like the heaviest rains are going to stay to our south down towards Columbus. That should help mitigate the flood threat a little bit, but still around a half inch of rain. Certainly not out of the question by the time we get to our Saturday afternoon. As I mentioned, the high Saturday will occur early in the day back into the upper 30s by Saturday afternoon down to the 20s. So we do drop back a little freezing for Sunday morning, but we're getting right back into the upper 30s for your Sunday afternoon. Keeping a little blustery though, winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour on the west after that front makes its way in through. Make another run for 40 degrees on Monday, but clouds will be increasing. And our next system looks to work its way in through on Tuesday, probably starting off as a little bit of rain and then switching over to more of a mix and then possibly even all snow as we go into Tuesday night as colder air will start to seep its way on in. And we do fall back into the 20s for next Wednesday. And then we'll have another brief shot up into the 30s for Thursday and then probably some colder air for the end of next week. This is not going to be an Arctic vortex or whatever, the polar vortex that we saw earlier this week, but still definitely cooling off back into the 20s. But hey, we have a whole definition of what cold is now after what we contended with earlier this week, and we won't be seeing anything like that here for the next 10 days. That's a look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson. Hope you all have a fantastic weekend.